As you can see, it's so simple to come and put your devices on. I just simply put my finger in, pull out the wires that belong in this position, and same with the position for switch number one. Pull out the wires that belong to that switch, and I can see it's fairly simple. I've got a ground wire to hook to the ground screw, and a wire to hook to each terminal of each switch. Trade practice, I always like to keep the hot on the bottom, so we'll strip those wires. And bend my hook on them. And many people have asked, what is the hole for in the middle of a T-stripper? On the jaws of it, those two holes that you see right there. Those are for bending your hoop on the wire. So you simply stick it in just through the, the hole in the tool, curl it over and you've got a nice hook for your wire to, uh, sorry, a hook to put around the terminal of the switch or the device you're working on. There's your hook. Again, strip the wires for switch two. wire through the hole and your loop. And the ground. If it's not quite right, you can just position it a little bit with the jaws of your plier. And I always work by tying the ground wire on first. So hold the switch in your left hand if you're right-handed. Get the ground wire around the screw in a clockwise fashion around the screw terminal. Tighten up your ground first. <clears throat> nice and snug. Turn the switch over. Hot wire on the bottom. It's not necessary, but it's a trade practice I like to get into. Switches, hot wire on the bottom. And the switch leg out to the light on the top. There's your switch terminated, switch number one. Same thing for switch number two. Ground first. And switch leg out to the light on the top. Okay, now you just bend your wires in nicely into the back of the box. Make sure nothing's going to be pinched. Make sure the ground wire isn't going to be stretched across and able to make contact with any of the terminals. Test fit your switch into place. And then I always start with partially installing one of the device mounting screws. And then the other one. center the screw in the uh, in the hole the oblong hole you can see on the device if you get that centered and tight against your drywall in the back here then when you go to mount your switch plate you're not going to have to adjust the devices all that much to make the switch fit as long as you're centered in both of your switches in a multi-gain installation such as this not too tight, you don't want to tighten it down too tight against the drywall, popping a, a screw somewhere. Again, start one, thread it in part way, and then start your second screw. 
and you can bring that all the way in again making sure you're centered in that oblong hole of the strap mounting strap And not too tight because if you do need to adjust them a little bit when we go to put the plate on you can just move them a little bit one way or the other without having to tighten or loosen and then re-tighten your device screws. So there you have it, ready for the faceplate.